Hello guys, this is Anish Ridge here with another amazing tutorial, uh, not amazing tutorial, but a uh, cool little tutorial for you in Cinema 4D. And this is how to align the blocks perfectly and when you're building Minecraft uh, structures. And by the way, if you don't know what Cinema 4D is, it's the animation software people use. And it can be anything, not Minecraft, but it can be anything. So, by the way, this is a landscape that Recreations on YouTube has shows a tutorial how to do this sort of landscape and to reduce lag he made it hollow and I suggest watching that and then I switched to Blender uh, to Cinema 4D and um, from Blender because Blender you can't zoom through objects for some reason I'm not sure if there's an op option for that but yeah you can't zoom through objects in Blender so Cinema 4D you can and yeah, Cinema 4D is a bit easier to get used to also. So now, yeah, so I'll quickly show you how to make one of the settings. So let's get a block here. So you need to be a bit familiar with the redstone, uh, not with redstone, but with um, Cinema 4D to, um, to really understand. So I'm gonna set, click, now you wanna click on this move tool and ignore what I'm doing here, I'm just setting it back to default so this is basically what it looks like without me clicking anything yeah this is on but so now we have the move enable we have this here and it should say ignore my second mouse somewhere here but so now um, click enable and this should be at 10 at default so yeah just keep it at 10 for now because we want to first align it to the other blocks first to the see this is the plane so we're going to align it to the plane so let's get our block and align it to the plane so now it moves every time 10 centimeters um, because we set this at 10 so now it moves 10 so now let's align it perfectly actually there's an easier way of doing it select your block and you should this is your block so select it and go to coordinates and set your my plane is at 50 centimeters high which is the y-axis and let's set this at 50 because that's where the lines are see you can see the lines going like this so now it's aligned to that and let's set our z to 150 no let's just set that to 50 also no, let's set that to negative 150. Oh my gosh, let's set it to negative 300. Okay, it has to be 50 now. Negative 450. Because my plane is made like that, and now it's perfectly aligned to my plane. See? Yeah, you can't really see it, but you can see it with the textures. Um, so now we want to set our click on our move tool and you have this selected the move sign here and you should let's find our move here and we want to move up we want to get this to 100 and now we have finished all the uh, never mind so duplicate it by copying and pasting so copy is control C and pasting is control V V and all command C and command V so you can uh, do this over and over again and you can keep copying and pasting and everything so this is very simple and no one has made a show on this I'm not sure if I already said this oops um, yeah so yeah, I hope this helps you out, and I'm sure it will, because imagine how much time I've saved you, so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna build a house, and then my animation will be on this sort of train, it'll be my first animation, just to see how it all works out, and yeah, so thank you for watching, oh, and another reason I switched to um, 4D Cinema is it a, it's a bit more... I think professional because see it has figures see now it imported this figure for me 
and in Blender they don't have these sort of things and you have so many more options I guess the lighting is a lot easier and yeah see the camera and everything is easy so thanks for watching